In this problem, we are going to be looking for something called the intrinsic value of a stock. Now, the intrinsic value is the underlining or fundamental value of a stock. It is the underlying or the fundamental value of a stock. So let's set this problem up so that you have an idea how this works. Is We are going to be looking at a company called Basketball. So we have the Basketball Company. The basketball company has been paying a $5 dividend uh, for the life of it so far. So, And that's not really going to change too much. And it's expected to grow from this point on at 6% forever. Forever. Now this is an important part. Forever. It's not by year, but forever. Now, investors generally would like to earn somewhere in the area of a, let's see, a 10% return on this type of investment. They want to invest this, they want to earn a 10% return on this type of investment. Well, what we need to do is we need to figure this out. And then we're going to say, now, is it a bargain? Is it a bargain? If basketball, I can just call it BB, trades at $125. Well, let's figure this out. So is it a bargain if the basketball company trades at $125? Well, we are going to start off and we are going to look at the equation. The equation is going to start off with something called PO. So this is the purchase price. So that's what we're searching for. The DO is, that's D is for dividend, and then 1 plus g, small g, which is g is for growth, minus over k, that's actually a small k, minus the g. That is the equation that we're looking at. So let's take a look at our variables. PO is equal to our dividend, which was $5, as we set up the equation, and 1 plus the constant growth of, what did we say? We said 6%, so it would be 0.06 over k, which was 10, that was the interest, minus, minus the 0 0.06. So we would do this. We would multiply the 5 times 0 0.06, so that would equal $5.30. And then we are going to subtract these two numbers down here, which is 0 0.04. And then we're going to divide the $5.30 divided by the 0 0.04. And the PO would equal if you divide it out, $132.50. So the question that we have, well, that's the question A. That is, what is the intrinsic value? That's the intrinsic, the intrinsic value of the stock is right there, basketball. And is it a bargain? Well, that's what the, that is our number of, of 132.50. That's what we say it should be trading at. If it is trading, at $125, this becomes a bargain. So the answer to part B, or answer part two is, is it a bargain? The answer is yes. Thank you, have a good day.